Hi friends, good evening. Welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So I am Manju here and I welcome you all for my YouTube channel. So uh, today I collected some of the 49 important questions and answers here for you people. So go through this video and you will get the valuable knowledge here. So before starting the video, if you are not subscribed to SQL Master, kindly subscribe to SQL Master YouTube channel. So to get more videos about ETL testing and SQL. So let us start the video here. So this is what I made here, questions and answers for you people. So first question, uh, difference between varchar and varchar to data types. So varchar can store up to 2000 bytes and varchar 2 can store up to 4000 bytes. Varchar will occupy space for null values and varchar 2 will not occupy any space. Both are deferred with respect to space. So uh, next question is, in which language Oracle has been developed? So Oracle has been developed using C language. So what is the raw data type? Raw data type is used to store values in binary data format. The maximum size for a raw in a table is 32,767 bytes. So what is the use of NVL function? The NVL function is used to replace null values with another or given value. Example is NVL of value comma replace value. So whether any commands are used for months calculation? If so, what are they? In Oracle, months between function is used to find the number of months between given dates. Example is months between in within parenthesis date one comma date two. So uh, what are the nested tables? Nested table is a data type in Oracle which is used to support columns containing multi-valued attributes. It also hold entire subtable. So what is the Collis function? So Collis function is used to return the value which is set to be not null in the list. If all values in the list are null, then the Collis function will return null. Collis of value 1 comma value 2 comma value 3 up to n okay so what is the blob data type a blob data type is a varying length binary string which is used to store 2 gigabytes of memory length should be specified in bytes for blob so how do we represent comments in oracle so comments in oracle can be represented in two ways the two slashes before beginning of the line single statement or slash star uh, hyphen hyphen star slash is used to represent it uh, it as a comments for block of statement okay <coughs> so uh, what is the dml data manipulation language is used to access manipulate the data in the existing objects dml statements are insert select update and delete and it won't implicitly uh, commit the current transaction. So, what is the difference between translate and replace? Translate is used to uh, used for character by character substitution. Replace is used to substitute a single character with a word. So, how do we display rows from a table without uh, duplicates? Duplicates rows can be removed by using keyword distinct in the select statement. So, what is the usage of merge statement? Merge statement is used to select rows from one or more data source for updating and insertion into table or a view. It is used to combine multiple operations. So what is the null value in Oracle? So null value represents missing or unknown data. Okay, you can say undefined data. Uh, this is used as placeholder or represented it in a default entry to indicate that there is no actual data present so what is using clause and give example so using clause is used to specify with the column to test for equality uh, when two tables are joined so sql of select start from employee join salary using employee id so okay in sql employee tables join with salary tables with employee id so what is the key preserve table 
a table is set to key preserved table if every key of the table can also be the key of the result of the join uh, it guarantees to return only one copy of each row from the base table so what is the with check option the with check option uh, clause specify the check level to be done in dml statements so it is used to prevent changes to a v that would produce results that are not included in sub query so what is the use of aggregate functions in oracle aggregate functions is a function where the values of multiple rows or records are joined together to get a single value output common aggregate functions are average count sum okay these are the aggregate functions what do you mean by group by clause a group by clause can be used in select statement where it will collect data across multiple records and group the results uh, by one or more columns what is a sub query and what are the different types of sub queries sub query is also called as nested query or inner query which is used to get the data from multiple tables a sub query is added in uh, the where clause of the main query there are two different types of sub queries a uh, correlated sub query a correlated sub query cannot be as independent query but can reference column in a table listed in the form of the list of the outer query non correlated sub query this can be evaluated as if it were uh, an independent query results of the sub query are submitted to the main query or parent query what is cross join cross join is defined as the cartesian product of the records from the tables present in the join uh, cross join will produce result which combines each row from the first table uh, with each row from the second table so what are the temporal data types in oracle oracle provides following temporal data types uh, data date data type uh, different formats of dates uh, timestamp data type different formats of timestamp interval data type interval between dates and time so how do we create privileges in oracle a privilege is nothing but right to execute an oracle query or to access another user sub object privilege uh, can be given as a system privilege or user privilege okay we can use here grant uh, user 1 to user 2 with manager option so what is v array v array is an oracle data type used to have columns containing multi valued attributes and it can hold bounded array of values how do we get field details of table describe of table name is used to get the field details of specified table so uh, what is the difference between rename and alias rename is a permanent name given to table or a column whereas alias is temporary name given for table or column rename is nothing but replacement of name alias is an alternate name for the table or column what is a view view is a logical table which is based on one or more tables or views the tables upon which the view is based are called base tables and it doesn't contain data so what is a cursor variable a cursor variable is associated with different statements uh, which can hold different values at a run time uh, a cursor variable is a kind of reference type what are cursor attributes each cursor in a oracle has set of attributes uh, which enables an application program to test uh, the state of cursor the attributes can be used to check whether cursor is opened or closed found or not found and also find row count what are set operators set operators are used to use with two or more queries and those operators are union union all intersect and minus so next question how we can delete duplicate rows in a table so duplicate rows in a table can be deleted by using row id so can we store pictures in the database and if so how it can be done yes so we can store pictures in the database by long row data type this data type is used to store the binary data for 2 gigabytes of length but uh, the table can have only the long row data type so what is an integrity constant an integrity constant uh, is a declaration defined 
a business tool for a table column. Integrity constraints are used to ensure accuracy and consistency of data in a database. Uh, there are types uh, domain integrity, uh, referential integrity, and domain integrity. Okay, uh, so next question is what is an alert? An alert is a window which appears in the center of the screen overlying uh, a portion of current display. So, what is hash cursor cluster? So, hash cluster is a technique used to store the table for faster retrieval. Apply hash value on the table to retrieve the rows of from the table. So, what are the various constants used in an oracle? The following are the used constants. Null, uh, it is to indicate that particular column can contain null values. Not null, uh, it is in to indicate particular column cannot contain null values. Check, validate the uh, values in a given column to meet specific criteria. Uh, default, it is to indicate the values assigned to default value. Okay, so what is the difference between uh, substring and instring? Substring returns specific portion of a string and instring provides character position in which a pattern is found in a string. Substring returns string whereas instring returns numeric. So what is the parameter mode uh, that can be passed to a procedure? In, out and in, out are the modes of the parameters that can be passed to a procedure. So what are the different Oracle database objects. There are different data objects in Oracle like tables, set mel, uh, of uh, elements organized in vertical and horizontal, views, virtual table derived from one or more tables, indexes, performance tuning method for processing the records, synonyms, alias name for tables, sequences, multiple user generate unique numbers, table spaces, logical storage unit in Oracle. So, what are the differences between LOV and list item? So, LOV is a property whereas list item are considered as a single item. So, list of items is said to be collection of list of items. A list item can have only one column. LOV can have one or more columns. What are privileges and grants? Privileges are the rights to execute SQL st statements means right to connect and connect. So grants are given to, to the object, so the objects can be accessed accordingly. Grants can be provided by the owner or the creator of an object. So what is the difference between uh, Oracle Base and Oracle Home? Oracle Base is the main or root directory of Oracle, whereas Oracle Home is located beneath the base folder in which all Oracle products reside. So what is the fastest query method to fetch data from table? Row can be fetched uh, from the table using row ID. Using row ID is the fastest uh, query method to fetch the data from table. So what is the maximum of, uh, number of triggers that can be applied to a single table? 12 is the maximum number of triggers that can be applied to a single table. So how to display row number with the records? Display row numbers with records numbers. Select row number comma the field names from table. This query will display row numbers and the field values from the given table. How can the view last record added to a table? Last record can be added to a table and this can be done by select star from within parenthesis sub query goes here. Select star from employees table order by row num in descending pattern uh, where row num is smaller than 2 semicolon. So this is the query. So what is the data type of dual table? The dual table is one column table present in a Oracle database. The table has a single varchar uh, to one column called dummy, which is having a value of x. So, what is the difference between Cartesian join and cross join? There are no difference between the join. Cartesian and cross joins are the same. Cross join gives Cartesian product of two tables, rows from a uh, first table is multiplied with uh, another table which is called as Cartesian product. Cross join without where clause gives Cartesian product. So how to display employee records uh, who gets more salary than average salary in the department. So select star from employee where salary is greater than within sub query. Select average of salary from department comma 
employee where the department dot department number is equal to employee dot department number semicolon so this will fetch you uh, the uh, person of salary more salary who is having average salary in department okay so this is these are the some few of the questions 49 important questions what i collected uh, for you so kindly go through the uh, video and uh, if you really like this video uh, like it and share it and subscribe to sql master youtube channel thank you for watching friends uh, i will be with you with some more uh, concepts or of etl testing okay thank you bye bye have a nice day